What's going on guys? Half click up here. It is Thursday afternoon, kind of a preclude to Visitor Friday. And um, what I'm wanting to do is kind of get ahead of tomorrow's vlog for Fizzer Friday. And um, my inspiration for tomorrow's vlog comes from a subscriber by the name of Alchemist372. And he and I have been having a conversation via email um, about the Power Commander PCFC and uh, the little rheostats. I call them rheostats. I mean, I, I don't know. The little dials that will real time adjust the fuel trims. So you see you have low, mid, and high. And um, theoretically, the way this should work and the way I have it configured is um, by default, you want to have all three of them turned at 50%, which is essentially straight up and down for the most part. Um, and at 50%, it obviously allows you the room to tune down or to tune up uh, all the fuel trims, right? So one thing I've never done, well, I guess I could, yeah. One thing I've never done is I have never bothered messing with any of these dials. Um, I've always just picked a tune to run. You know, it used to be Marthy's Rev A. I would pick a tune to run and just stick with what the tunes trims were already uh, preset for. Um, Furthermore, with the Hindle performance tune, it is a dyno tune. And with that being said, I shouldn't have to mess with that at all because it was built on a dyno uh, utilizing all of an FZ6R's available power band, right? That's the way dyno tunes work. But uh, speaking with Alchemist372, um, and, and granted, he is running a high flow filter. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm running a high flow brand filter. He is running a high flow rate type filter uh, produced by DNA. Uh, DNA is, a, is an air filter company. And it is uh, well known that the DNA filters uh, provide way more airflow than stock, <clears throat> excuse me, than stock, as well as better airflow than K&N. Um, I have never run a high performance air filter on this bike. Maybe I should. Um, but I run the brand High Flow, which is out of Britain, uh, the UK. And I've had great results with High Flow, and, and I also run High Flow oil filters. Anyways, with all that being said, um, in our email conversation, he was telling me how he went ahead and turned all of the dials all across the board up by like five clicks, which is dang near turned up all the way. <laughs> um, but uh, so he turned them up all across the board. That coupled with the fact that he's got that high performance air filter from DNA, uh, he claims to have great results. So I figure what the heck, um, I've never messed with any of the, the fuel trim dials. Um, so what if we take the Hindle tune and turn all the trims up a little bit and, uh, and just see what the results are? Maybe we'll be surprised? Ultimately, we're gonna find out tomorrow, which, during Fizzer Friday, but I figured I'd get ahead of the game. I don't wanna be out here first thing in the morning trying to get ready for work and, and jacking with the, the power commander. So Thursday afternoon, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these up a little bit and uh, first thing in the morning or tomorrow afternoon, I haven't decided yet. I, I typically like to give you guys my raw uh, first impression on everything, so I, probably will down a five hour energy as usual and uh and go ahead and, and let you guys see my my real time first reaction um to whether or not we actually get a performance increase by turning up all these dials anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get after it all right i got a little bit of light shine on the situation i apologize that you guys basically have no shot of what i'm doing but uh i got my little phillips head screwdriver here and um the little Rio stats for the, the ranges here, they don't have a discernible click to them like the, uh, the map selection switch does. Um, that one is a very defined click that lets you know which number you're choosing uh, as to which map slot you're going to run. Um, like, for example, I'm currently on slot 4 because I have 4 maps loaded on this thing. Uh, again, running the Hindle tune. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to turn each one all the way up. 
to make sure that's what I'm doing. Yep. All the way up. And then I'm going to back them all out just a smidge. So they're going to turn all the way up. And back. Back. And back. <laughs> no idea what that's going to do. But just looking at the orientation, I know you guys can't see, I'm sorry, but looking at the orientation of the little crosshairs, um, I think I've got them all about even. Yep. Okay. So that's, if, if I had to guess, that is low, mid, and high. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys this now. There. Hopefully you can make that out. So I've got low, mid, and high. They're all basically turned up to what I would assume is about 85%. And so tomorrow morning, We'll see what the heck that does. So, uh, I'm skeptical to say the least. Uh, first off, to be fair, it is probably going to rain at some point today, very likely. The humidity is like 99% right now. It is just thick. You could cut it with a butter knife, man. Um, so the engine's already going to be hating life. <laughs> Either way, here we are. Let's go. Already running a little late, admittedly. Oh, yet again, after riding Trenda for a week, this thing feels like a freaking toy, guys. <laughs> it really does. Like, you know, this is not a super sport, but you go from an, an ADV bike to the Fizzer, and it's like, eh, you know, like scrunched up. Even the shifter is like way closer than what you're accustomed to. It's... <sighs> she looked at me like I was stupid. I'm sorry. I have a plated vehicle. You're on a freaking golf cart. Just for clarification. So I predict one of three things is going to happen. Either we're going to feel a difference, we're going to be like, ooh, we should have done this a long time ago, or we're not going to feel any difference at all. Uh, maybe contributing to the humidity. Or it's just going to become apparent that the bike's running too rich or something. And, and therein lies that uh, skepticism. So we're talking about a dyno tune, guys. I mean, I kind of touched base on it on uh, the intro part of the video from yesterday. But, you know... We're talking about a dyno tune that has already been trimmed out perfectly based on the bike's power. Whoa. Hold on. Okay. Oh, sh Damn. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. I almost cussed. If that tells you anything, I almost cussed. I try not to cuss on this channel anymore. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but back in the gap, I used to cuss like through it with Dan. <laughs> uh, and uh, I just now almost cuss. Okay. I'm trying to keep my wits about myself. That was a measurable difference. I'm not going to lie. Like you guys heard it here first. That was a measurable difference. not as much but that low and mid uh, I don't know if the if the I don't know if the camera will have caught the acceleration effect when I rolled out of the park but it, it kind of caught me off guard and, and threw me back a little bit which is ridiculous I know but it happened Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. the top end is measurable. Again, it's it's not as intense as uh, the bottom end, but and the mid, but yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wait until we uh, get off the interstate so we can have some real conversation. 
as we come into rain, sure enough. Oof. Of course. Man, I couldn't have predicted that any better. Whoa! Golly, dude! <laughs> Alright, confirm. There we go. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to take it a little easy because we're on wet streets now. However, we can have some good conversation about it. Uh, Alright, so what I was concerned about was the fact that you can't really make an appreciable uh, difference to a pre-established dyno tune simply by turning these little dials on this PCFC. However, um, it literally did turn all the fuel up across the board. Which, I'm not trying to sound ignorant, guys. Uh, you know, you guys know me. I understand what's going on with the machine. It's just that, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that, you know, the technicians that handle performance um, put, the, put an FZ6R in the dyno, and they tune it in just such a way that it was making the most efficient power, I guess, with the best fuel mileage and all things considered. Not to mention, um, it was done in Canada, I'm pretty sure, or the northern United States. It escapes me right now. It Ride the Six could tell you, but I do believe uh, they're either in Canada. I think they are in Canada. Anyways, uh, scatterbrain, guys. Scatterbrain. What I'm getting at is, uh, it was tuned up there at a higher elevation. Which is important because uh, if you know anything about tuning, you know that uh, ideally you want to shoot for 14.7 uh, atmospheric pounds, I guess is the terminology. Whoa. Whoa. It kind of feels smoother too on acceleration. It's not as buzzy, that's notable. As we get soaking wet, kinda, it's not, I don't guess it's too bad. We've been caught in the rain before, folks. But so with that being said, 14.7 up north is not 14.7 down here, right? It changes. Uh, so, interestingly, I mean, we can sit there and analyze it all day long, but obviously adding an appreciable amount of fuel all across the board made a positive difference given our altitude in central Texas. Hopefully that all makes sense. Anyways guys, I'm going to plan to come back. We're going to revisit this this afternoon. Um, my morning route to work is less than ideal for uh, high speed pulls anyways. Hopefully it at least turns partly cloudy uh, by, the, by this afternoon. Um, we'll come back and uh, see if we can't put the bike through its paces. However, obviously our preliminary conclusion is that yes, you need to turn your dials up on your PCFC. Eight hours later. Well, so here we are in the afternoon, right home from work. Uh, the humidity is way lower. It's a little cooler outside too, as a result. Uh, that rain just kind of blew through today. Got some partly cloudy skies. Um, so I've been playing with it, and it's as if uh, it's as if the entire linear element of the power band has simply, and I know this is a literal sense, has simply had fuel added to it. And what it's really allowed for is a noticeable mid-range punch increase. Here we go. Woo! 100, just like that. It's subtle. You know, it, it, it's not like all of a sudden you're on a whole different bike, but it's just enough to, uh, to be noticeable. It, it's it's kind of like having a new tune all over again. It's kind of like back when uh, I first started running the handle tune and noticed that increase. It's like that plus, say, 10 or 15%. So, yeah, it's, it's appreciable for sure. Yeah. 
115 like nothing. And so one thing that's probably worth, uh, I guess, monitoring over time, I guess I'll just keep it at these settings as little as I ride this bike now, you know? Uh, but I guess if I was to still be daily riding this bike, one thing I would want to monitor is the spark plugs, you know? So clearly it's running a little bit richer now simply because we're dumping more fuel all across the board. And so I just want to investigate the spark plugs after a couple of thousand miles, probably at the next oil change or whatever, and, uh, and just see how black they are, see if it's really uh, showing an issue, which it shouldn't be. I honestly don't think the PCFC allows enough adjustment manually like that on the unit itself to cause any kind of a dangerous situation for the engine. I just don't think it's that drastic, you know? But, I'll tell you what, it's just drastic enough to notice. Now imagine if I added a high flow air filter, dropped a sprocket tooth in the front down to 15, maybe did that timing mod I was talking about a long time ago. Man, this really would be like a whole nother bike. Let's see if I can hit this little uh, turnaround. You come out of it screaming. A little bit poppier on the D-cell, did you hear that? Ah. 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 Woo! God almighty. <laughs> That's how you go to jail. So in conclusion, boys and girls, um, if you are running the PCFC and the Hindle tune, go ahead and turn those dials up a notch. Let's see how you like it. You guys saw I'm uh, I'm turned up, <laughs> turned up. <laughs> Is that what the kids say nowadays? I'm turned up. I am uh, I'm turned up about uh, I guess about 85% on uh, on all three dials. So play with it, do what you will. I suggest 85. Who knows what happens if you turn up to a full 100 across the board. I don't know what it would do. Uh, you know, at some point, it's not really going to uh, produce any more power. Uh, you wouldn't think, right, once you get a little bit too rich. So, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, i got to stop and check the mail. Because I've got a little bit of the package. And, uh, yeah. So, that was fun. A little bit of a learning experience for all involved. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, impressive. As always, this has been me. Has been you. Have to look up. I'll catch you guys on the next Visit Friday. Peace, man. Goodbye.